All right, what is this bullshit? <laughs> no, seriously though, Acoustica Audio have released yet another plugin, actually two. One of them is called Drama, and the other is called Voxa. And they're from a partnership between them, uh, Acoustica Audio and a company called Improve Your Mix. They're similar to Mix with the Masters, but European, I think maybe Italian specifically. Well, let's just take a look at what this is. So I'm gonna zoom in here for a second so I can read better. Okay, Acoustica and the team at Improve Your Mix, the number one pro audio portal in Italy. There we go. Have joined forces with one of the best Italian mixing engineers, Salvatore Adeo, to create a perfect, easy to use tool to instantly improve your drums to make your drum track sound solid, punchy, and with the right balance too. Drum is an easy to use drum processor designed to be used as a drum bus tool to refine your drum kit. Okay, there we go. So that, I was wondering if this was for individual tracks. Drumma gives you different drum bus effects born from over 25 years of expertise to effortlessly deliver high quality treatment for your drum kit. The four available nodes slash presets will give you full power over your drum tracks by allowing you to enhance them according to stylistic needs. For example, clearing up low end and adding energy or to add the subtle effect of old school recording. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot to go to the other part. Let yourself be guided by the four modes and effortlessly achieve instant results without having to spend time and energy searching for the miraculous sound. That's a bold claim right there. Furthermore, even on individual elements of the drum kit, okay, there we go. Drummer's presets have yielded impressive results. Okay, so it can be used on a drum bus. Try it on individual tracks, but maybe not. You'll just have to try it like anything else in life. If you have the necessary skills, you could achieve similar results by combining EQ, compression, saturation, and more. Ooh, what's that end more? What is the end more? I would like to know. Probably like transient shaping, things like that. Drumma saves you from that trouble and offers you a simple, t sorry, single tool that can do it all where ease of use and speed are important. Okay, so I would say, let's take me for example. It takes me hours and hours to mix a song because I go through el every element, make sure it sounds great, and then the automation takes like another couple hours, maybe three hours. So, if somebody <laughs> contacted me and said, Adam, can you do a mix for 25 bucks? I'd, I'd say, yeah, let me let me just use this one. Let me use Smart Comp and... and uh, smart limiter and you know essentially do everything ai ozone 11 so here's the key features you, you can read those yourself the bottom line is this does it sound good because all that marketing hyperbole is meaningless if this thing doesn't work with your you know common everyday tracks i mean so what what i'm wondering like what is it expecting as an input. Okay, let me read this here. Okay, the, the control number one, is that even listed on here? No, it's not identified. But, okay, the, the mix knob is right here. This controls the proportion between the original and effected signal. In other words, it lets you balance the process with the unprocessed signal. The range goes from 0% to 100% parallel. Where's that at? Oh, this slider right here. Dry slash wet mix control for parallel effects. Okay. Deep. The first parallel effects. This adds energy and solidity. Is that a word? In the low frequencies. It adds depth to the very low frequencies from 140 down to 20 hertz. I wish I just would have called it bass or lows. Deep, I mean, deep's cool, but to me, it, it could also be construed as a reverb or delay. In your face. 
N Y R face, young and the restless face. The set. Oh, I gotta zoom in on this one. I'm gonna mess up some words if I don't. The second parallel effects. This gives you an in your face sound achieved with some alteration of dynamics without crushing the initial transients and careful equalization, adding some brightness around 5K and cutting some muddiness to avoid clashes with guitar and bass between 300 hertz and 500 hertz. It's a secret weapon to emphasize the transients of the entire drum kit and bring them forward. All right, in your face. Okay, mode slash presets, where's that at? At the top, right here. Choose from four different modes slash presets. We have acoustic pop, which is good for acoustic drums that are in a pop music context. It employs a classic close mic overhead and room setup, creating a balanced preset without harsh compressions. It emphasizes the bandwidth extremes for a hi-fi sound. Acoustic Rock. In this preset, compression EQ and saturation are adjusted to provide a bold sound. There's an increased warmth in the mid-bass range to accentuate the second harmonic of the kick drum and emphasize the snare. The range from 140 Hz to 250 Hz adds more punch. Indeed it does. Modern. This preset is tailored for virtual or sampled drum kits suitable for modern pop music. The approach is decidedly contemporary with noticeable saturation and compression, resulting in a punchy and well-defined sound, especially in the low and high frequencies. Cool. Urban. Designed for trap and urban music, this preset delivers an exceptionally aggressive and punchy sound. All right, and then the rest of these, input trim, which is important because if you don't set the right one, then it's not gonna work right. Is it on the far left? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, so this should be the first control you touch, and you're gonna be looking at the input meter right here. Output, the knob is output, gain, control, high pass. That's good and a low pass filter. The first knob step bypasses the filter. Well, I would hope so. I know, it's not labeled. I'm assuming that's the first one. Input meter, I just talked about that. Okay, it's uh, RMS measurement, so root mean square, so like an average meter, um, which is similar to a VU meter. And then the output meter is the same, RMS output. And then on the Number 10, what's number 10? The size, so over here. I don't know why they didn't label them like one is size and then input meters two uh, and then input trim is three. It's kind of all over the place. I mean, they did give you the most important things up front, I, I suppose, but I don't know. Anyway, you can resize the plugin, which is cool. And the key to Acoustica Audio plugins is that you have to set them. I actually like it this way. So you set the size that you want, and then delete the plugin, and then re add it in. That way you can have plugins that sometimes are bigger than others, and you know, it kind of works, but you just have to remember to delete the plug. So you, the first thing you do is you make sure the size of the plugin is good. And then you delete it from your, or you, what, what do you call it? You, you have to reinstantiate it or, okay. It says right on there, reopen. So actually that's not right. Close the plugin and reopen it. No wonder people are confused. Close the plugin. No, no, you have to delete the plugin. You have to de-instantiate it. I think that's the proper word. <laughs> Oversampling drop down menu. Okay. So this improves the audio quality. Primarily, if you're using 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz projects, put it on 2x. If you're doing 88.2 or 96, it might help a little bit, especially for the saturation algorithms. Or not really an algorithm, but 
Uh, these are, this is sampled hardware. There's the oversampling button over here, or menu, I should say. Okay, and this is uh, system requirements, all the all the important stuff that I'm not going to read here because I'm just not. You can read that yourself. Oh, what's this? A Voxa Drama Sound Pack. Welcome to the Voxa Drama Sound Pack. These are the latest signature processors by Acoustica. All right, I already knew all that. All right, I'm not going to reread all this stuff, but basically, Voxa is the the processor for vocals. It also apparently works for pianos, keyboards, and synthesizers. Maybe. Let us go ba back down to the audio interface, or not the audio interface, to the interface. Oh, so this one has a flat design compared to the other one. That's pretty cool. So let's see, which controls are the same? Size is there, input meters are not uh, segmented, so they're more of like a, uh, they're, they're a gradient, neon light pop style looking thing. <laughs> Um, and then the in input trim knob is here. That's good. And then we have our presets at the top. I'll explain what they are in a minute. And then we have the logo up here, high pass filter, low pass filter, the mix knob, the parallel slider. What is off? Is that the bypass button? Yeah, bypass is the plugin. Okay, right there, by off. I don't like how small that is. It's kind of like there. I, I, for me, I like to put the bypass where it's very obvious, not like, it, it's just cramped in this. Sorry, I'm going off on a little tangent here, but GUI design, yeah. Anyway, um, or, you know, the logo could be the bypass button. That's, that's kind of a typical thing. Low pass, output knob, output meter, oversampling menu and deep remember that's for the lows and in your face is more compression and some other things as well you know the idea is that you just load this plugin on or drama and you have a few knobs to play with and hopefully it gives you a good sound if not then try something else <laughs> all right here we go oh, let me zoom in so the other things aren't on there so, and why is this here? Why is this, can I move this like over here? Okay, that, that's better. Three modes and presets. All right, classic pop. This preset can be used when you want transparent vocals, not modern vocals where there is a significant presence above 10 kilohertz, but where the voice is clear and the treatments are gentler, more reminiscent of the 1990s, so that the voice conveys more dynamics, openness, and transparency. Cool. They should have just called it 1990s pop. And then this one is modern. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's, I would say, on this it says 2023, but... You know, we could say 2010s and above. Compression and equalization become more pronounced, adding a good dose of saturation, working more on the extreme ends of the frequency spectrum, especially above 30 hertz, kilohertz. Really? Why are you messing with 30 kilohertz, man? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's for the, um, like a mag, a mag 4 EQ on the, on the air band or something. Urban Trap. This preset was designed for use on a modern voice to achieve a crispy tone, more saturated, that cuts through the mix. So again, that one's self-explanatory. And then finally, Vintage. With this preset, the goal is to achieve a warm but not muddy voice in the mix. Okay. And then the rest of this I already talked about. Yep. So let's see what's cooking down here. Okay, this is just the, again, the stuff that you should know if you're somewhat competent with computers. And that's about it. That's the manual, man, because apparently these, this is very easy to use. And the next video I put out will be me using this plugin. So if you're looking forward to that, 
hit the thumbs up button. If you're not, hit the thumbs down button. Leave me a comment below. If you want me to do a specific track with this, I'll take requests because I'm recording the video today. I'll put the next one out tomorrow. I'll record the next one uh, tonight, we'll say. Or, yeah, I'm going to put this video out tomorrow morning in my time, which we will be your morning today. And so the following night is when I'll put out the next video.